Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, um, trying to protect you against the evil mindset of this world with the Word of God. And uh, we're looking at Proverbs, uh, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. It's a short verse, but it's a good verse. It says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. And uh, you might say, uh, John, uh, you know, I've not been that cheerful lately. I've, I've been depressed. I've been down. Uh, well, you know, that isn't really good for you. Now, what do you do if you're feeling down, feeling depressed? Well, probably the first thing is you need to make, need to check on yourself and make sure that if you are born again, if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, if you've invited him into your life, that uh, you are uh, doing his will, uh, that you're not living in sin, and uh, that uh, you're uh, staying in the word of God, and that you're praying frequently. And uh, one thing that happens is we, even in the midst of hardship, we can pray to God if we're born again uh, to fill us full of his joy, fill us full of his Holy Spirit. And one of the attributes of the filling of the Holy Spirit is joy. So uh, even if we've had something uh, terrible happen, or we've had something that uh, has, uh, you know, a lot of times if you have depression, you don't have necessarily have to have a reason for it. Uh, so sometimes the enemy comes against us too, gets us depressed. And we need to pray against any demonic influence that tries to mess with us. But uh, uh, we have power in prayer. We have God that can lift us up, even in the midst of the, all the hardships and difficulties that we face. Also, we need to spend time with God's people. Uh, the fellowship of believers is important. And if you're not involved with a church, then I'm going to ask you, why not? Uh, that is uh, actually uh, the kingdom of God here on this earth. And when God's people get together, we can encourage one another and we can fellowship with one another. And uh, this can help uh, lift us up and bring us up. So you want to be active in a fellowship of believers. And you may need somebody to disciple you in your faith. Uh, if you're, a, Especially if you're a young Christian, if you've never received uh, discipleship uh, from a fellowship of believers, from uh, a a person of God, uh, find someone that's been in the faith longer and uh, ask them uh, to help you along your way. And uh, just uh, be in constant communication with God's people and also uh, with, um, with God himself. We can boldly approach the throne of grace. Be sure to tell God anything that you need and uh, it's okay if you don't hear an answer from God on something that you really need, just to keep praying. And don't stop praying. That's a song that's popular right now here in the United States. Uh, Matthew West, good Christian artist, has it out. And uh, it says, don't stop praying. Uh, let your knees wear out the floor, the song says. And uh, so uh, that prayer uh, can uh, get us into close contact with God. And God hears those requests. And now when God, uh, when you pray, uh, God, sometimes uh, he answers those requests quickly. But sometimes he doesn't. His timing may be different than ours. Or uh, sometimes his answer is no. Uh, he doesn't give us things that he knows is going to hurt us. So uh, just uh, be real constant in prayer. And, uh, you know, if you don't have good people in your life, uh, then... Uh, you uh, need to, you know, work to develop friendships and ask God to help you to do that. And uh, so your heart can be cheered up. And for some individuals, you might need a little bit of um, professional help. You may need to speak with a Christian counselor, or you may even need some medication if you have a long-term difficulty with depression. And one thing, too, uh, one thing that's really, really bad for depression is uh, ingesting substances uh, that make you feel better. Things like alcohol and drugs, 
they actually make depression worse. They rewire your brain and you're more likely to be depressed if you are using drugs or alcohol. So uh, depression and uh, sadness can be dealt with. And uh, I'm a person that uh, had severe depression uh, in my past. And uh, I know that God uh, can and be around people who are of a good heart. That way they can cheer you up. And uh, let people know that you've been feeling down and ask to uh, be lifted up. This is John with Light of the Scripture, encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God and let the Word of God get uh, deep into you.